What is going on guys, we're back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and it's been a minute. Been a bit of a minute guys now. We are here to work on my JP account because once again, I have not touched my JP account in so long. I've neglected it and um, yeah, just yeah right now. So we're going to be working on it now. What I'm going to do in this video is that I have so many, so many unawakened units or unawoken units I should say that I'm, I can make like three or four videos of me just waking units now this is something that the truth and I had uh, we had these video series of us waking units titled preparing for Doken Battlefield well Doken Battlefield we have no idea when it's gonna become around if it will ever come back around but we do have this new mode called Super First Battle Road so I'm gonna do that but with the Super First Battle Road uh, twist at the end there because uh, you will need several variety of teams to run that mode, I'm assuming, right? So I do want to have as many units ready as uh, I possibly can. So we're going to go through an entire Doken Awakening per video up until like Sunday or Saturday or whatever. Whenever the mode drops on JP. Now I think it drops Saturday for JP, which is the actual JP time, but drops Friday for us being in the western side of the world. Uh, so I'm going to do what I can here with these uh, units. I don't have all the medals I need. Uh, medals for this guy, I believe I do. Uh, oh, I have them, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So I'm going to start with this cooler here. I am not a big fan of this cooler. Um, he just is not that amazing. Like he has 90% attack upon the passive. Um, he doesn't have shocking speed. He doesn't have fear and faith. He doesn't have any relevant key link that's gonna help him out. I think he has the uh, Frieza link, uh, which is the uh, is it universe's most malevolent, I believe. Uh, I think yeah, he has this uh, universe's most malevolent, uh, or is it um. It's another one, man. Stronger Clan in Space. Yeah, that's the link there. He has that. Uh, what is this? I have no idea. I can't even read this, man. This is probably 15% attack up. What could this be? Interesting. Demon King Piccolo. Has it's not Nightmare. I know that. It's mostly one of those updated links. Probably is. I have no idea. What oh, Thirst for Conquest. I believe that's Thirst for Conquest. Uh, big Bad Bosses. We have here 10%. So this is most likely Nightmare. Uh, we have another 5%. So this is Metamorphosis, I believe. 15% uh, fierce battle and this is another 15% so I don't know but uh, I mean he has a lot of attack links he has a lot of high hitting potential but he doesn't have any relevant key lands gonna make him like link with anyone perfectly but whatever so we're gonna work on the Turles here and uh, this is the world tournament Turles that does Doken Awaken as you can see with the seven medals of the world tournament he himself isn't horrible his passive is a little meh but for the most part, he does fill some roles in his own team, being the... If you have LR, you know, Rose, or if you have Super Saiyan 3 Blue, then he can kind of help a little bit because he does have perfect battle. Uh, and big bad bosses, so that's definitely, uh, you know, big plus for him. He does provide 3 key for himself, as well as 60% uh, uh, attack and defense for like 7 turns, I believe that's a thing. He does have a restriction, uh, there it is, 7 turns, yep. So he does have... Uh, what is this? 25% attack up. This is the... Um, this is a specific link for him and his clan. I forgot what it's called, but uh, not bad. I mean, what is this? Uh, same warrior race or something like that. Uh, two key prepare for battle. This is thirst for conquest. Big bad bosses. This is two key shining limits, and then this is also nightmare. If I believe, yep. Uh, I think that's nightmare. Guys, I'm just going off the top of my head. I can't read Japanese. So that's thing about that. Now this guy is super attack ten. Let's go ahead and Doken Awaken this guy. <coughs> oh. Bruh, I need some water right now. Whoa! Just out of nowhere, man. I got a cough. So, I don't have Super 17 on any account. Not Global or JP. So, I guess this kind of counts for having Super 17 a little bit. Um, he does fit a pretty important role in terms of what he provides. So, he does extreme damage. That is not good. But he does change orbs. I believe this guy changes. Is it? I think it's Int to Rainbow. He changes something to Rainbow. Then he gets a 20% attack up. So this isn't too significant, but he can do something, I guess. Uh, Link set is very good. I believe he does have Fear and Faith. I believe he does. Uh, he has a bunch of Andrew Links. He has big bad bosses. The 120% Super 17 doesn't have big bosses, but the, I guess, these 100. Uh, these level 100 SSR ones do so that's kind of funny uh, moving on this guy I think he has super attack 4 super attack 1 oh do I have any dupes of him that I could feed 
I don't have any dupes that I can feast. I just Doken Waken him as is. Okay, whatever. I uh, Doken Waken this guy here. This is the uh, Super Buu, as you can see. Uh, very OG card. Got uh, Doken Waken with the Kid Buu event. Uh, takes 35 of the Kid Buu medals, and you can Doken Waken him to this guy here, who is not horrible. By no means is he, you know, the scum of the earth. Uh, let me lock him up first. I, I'm so bad at locking my cards. I don't lock my card. I'm just bad at it. Now, Supreme Damage. Rare Chance of Stun. That's whatever. 30% uh, damage dealt is is uh, returned as HP. So if you give him some crits, and he crits in like the 300k, 400k, you will get 30% of that back as HP, which means, you know, pretty much kind of all your health at that point, because, you know, that's quite significant if, he, if he's uh, critting. Uh, he does have Fear and Fate, which is a pretty good link, I would say so. Uh, somewhere here, is, that's uh, Metamorphosis. I believe this is Nightmare. Uh, right here is, um, what is this link right here? Is this Majin? Maybe, perhaps. Here's Fear and Faith. Uh, right here is actually going to be the wall standing tall. And then we have Fierce Battle. So not bad, not horrible, not the worst. This card, I do have all the, I need to train him up a little bit, guys. I need to get some levels on him real quick. Got to get him all the way up to level 100. Which is kind of a waste for me because I don't have, like, items to spare like that. I really don't, man. Just kind of wasting my items here. Uh, let me just go ahead and get it done real quick because I don't want to waste time. Y'all, look at my... Oh, my turn. I need those items. I need them. I need them. I need them. Let me just kind of use some of those. I love new training system. It makes life so easy. It really does. Previously, this was a pain in the ass. It really was. But, you know, with that, it just makes things quite simple. And honestly, it just makes life easier overall. Literally, I need, like, one more level. Like, literally. Like, can I give him this? Is that... No. Um, Can I give him some kind of fodder, please? Just something that's fodder. With some levels on it. Can I give him like one of these? Here we go. Uh, hey, let's give him that. So the 5% weeds could work. Keyword could. Maybe. I don't even know. Uh, does it work? And, uh, wow. It worked. Bruh. Anyways, let's continue with the Adoken uh, Awakening. So, uh, he takes 12 of his own medals. Uh, this is from the Battle of Gods event. Yes. It's exactly where it's from. Uh, now you Adoken Awakening him to his TUR form. We're getting shot in the limits. And uh, not the worst card in the world. He does have a pretty good partnership with PyCon. Sharing about, I think, two or three relevant key links to him. Now, stop that. Uh, he does lower attack when he's super. So, Supreme Diamond lowers attack. Very nice. And passive is quite, you know, eh. It's whatever. Uh, when it comes back around. So, he gets 20% uh, attack down when, when the enemies attack. So, whoever he attacks, 20% uh, attack down. And uh, he has a, I think, his high chance to send the enemy for one turn. So that's the other part is passive here. Uh, he does have decent links. I believe this is um, Godly Power. Uh, we have here Cold Judgment. Uh, this is a Connoisseur or whatever that uh, bears in Weast Link. Uh, this is Shocking Speed. This is Shattering the Limits. No, no, this is Shocking Speed. Wait, what is this? What is this? Okay, Shattering the Limits, Shocking Speed, what is this? Interesting. What the hell could this be? Gentlemen's, uh, the Gentlemen's, yes, Gentlemen's, there we go. I was like, what? That's Gentlemen's, there we go, guys. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's go to this guy here. Very OG card, the Rainbow Orb Changing Goku. Uh, now, I've had a lot of these units in my box forever, and I just have not gone around to awaken them because I was just busy doing other things. Like I, was just, I couldn't even bother. But uh, now we're getting all this done. Uh, this Goku is quite old. No real sense to go over him. But just real quick. Uh, does Supreme Damage. Changes. Um, Is it Int? He changes. Is it Int to uh, uh, Tech? Or is it STR to Tech? It's either Int or STR to Tech. And then get 30% attack up. Uh, Link says not bad. Uh, Super Saiyan. Yo, come on, my boy. Super Saiyan. Um... Uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, I believe. What is this? This is a uh, Warrior Gods. There we go. Warrior Gods. Uh, Kamehameha. Um, the uh, wow, I don't even remember mine. The Resurrection F Link. That's the Resurrection. F -Link. What is this? Is that Godly Power? I think that's Godly Power. Uh, Perf Battle and Fierce Battle, and he does fit on that category. This is the uh, uh Limbre Goku category, so he fits there if you do want to put him there. Uh, let's get this trunks. Ooh, no medals. Uh, this is Vegeta. Ooh, here we go. Do I have any dupes I can feed into him real quick? Uh, I don't believe I do, so let's just continue, I guess. Uh, there are no dupes. 
or did I feed them? I think I fed them. He's super attacked. Only had like one or two. There we go. So let's go and wait him. It takes is that ten medals? Ten medals of his own event, and then you feed them into himself right here, and then you go ahead and Doken awaken the man into this Vegeta, who is honestly not good, but. I hope he gets an extreme awakening in the future. I really hope he does because that would just make him somewhat decent. Somewhat. Uh, the card itself is nothing to like, you know, admire. Um, supreme damage and nothing else. Setting percent attack up when he at started turn, so he has this unconditionally. Um, he doesn't have Orbital Flash. He has Saiyan Lineage, I believe. That's the only key link he has. Saiyan Lineage. Uh, I believe that's the case, right? Uh, where's that link? Here he is. Saiyan Lineage. Uh, he has nothing else. Like, no other key link. Uh, no Golden Warrior. So yeah, he just made it to hit hard, nothing else. Uh, this World Tournament Vegeta, not a bad card. I like I like the card art. I'm a fan of it. And he himself isn't horrible. I'm going to show you exactly what he does in a second here when he does Doken. The previous card was bad, but this card does get a quite a pre quite a decent upgrade if I do say so myself. Wow, do I even English? Do I even English, people? And uh, here he is. I'm running kind of low on Zane right now. So he has the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, Mechanical where he raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. What? 9% attack up when HP 99 or below, so not bad. He has GT. I believe he also has prepare for battle. If I can find that. This, this is prepare for battle. English, my boy. Yo, I need some water right now. I'm talking quite a bit right now. Ah, okay. Shattering the limits. Uh, all the good stuff, guys. So, uh, not a bad card. Don't even sleep on this guy. He's actually quite good. Love the art. I hate Vegeta's hair, but it's not horrible in his art here, so... By the way, Saiyan's hair isn't supposed to change, so what happened, GT? I don't even know. It's kind of funny there. Uh, let's go through one more card. His Bulma isn't awakened, don't even at me. I should awaken her right now, but... <gasps> I didn't finish her off, because... Uh, I don't even know. Uh, can I... Ooh, I could awaken Pycon. Let's trade it off a little bit. Let's finish off with Pycon here, guys. Um, I would like to... I'll do a Super Tat later. I was going to say that I should do the Super Strike Pycon. And uh, get Pycon Super Attack all the way up to 10 here. But I'll do that later on in the future. I could reverse him and whatever. So it's not it's not that big of a deal, man. Because, you know, those reversal items aren't, like, difficult to come by these days. So whatever. Uh, and then we give him, like, one of these. And that should be good enough. Hey, there we go. Hey. Oh, burp. Did I burp? I burp, man. I just had some food not long ago, guys. So trade him up. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and Doken Awaken him. And then him and the Whis are pretty good partners. But you don't really run them together like that, so whatever. Uh, so take 35 of the Gogeta medals from the new Gogeta stage. Or the old one if you want to do that 35 times. I don't know why you want to do that if you have the new one available. But uh, here he is, guys. So the new Pycon. Well, not really new, but the Doken Waking of Pycon. And uh, I love the art. Love the art. Uh, he does supreme damage and he lowers a great lowers attack greatly. Very nice. I'm going to take that. Uh, passive is decent. When facing only one enemy, he gets three key. 7,000 attack and 3,000 defense, so he can kind of kind of tank, kind of hit hard, and he does provide himself with key, so that's very nice. His main gimmick is this, the ring attack uh, greatly, so that does help him out quite a bit. Uh, Link said isn't horrible, but he's just not good for a um, super tech team, so that's kind of where he uh, you know falls a little bit. Uh, can we do one more real quick? Do I have another one that's ready in tech? I don't. Other than Bulma, I don't. Hmm. Literally, there's no one else. I mean, I could awaken Bulma. Let's, let's do that. Uh, I have her super attack 10, right? I believe I do. Uh, she's super attack 10. Let's go and do let's go ahead and Doken Awaken her. Uh, let me make sure that the dupes are in the dupe system. Don't at me, people. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure. Where are you, Bulma? Here she is. Um, Nani? But, bruh, bruh. Yo, just, 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 just why in now? Oh, my God. Okay, so we're here in the dupe system. I need Doken Awaken this Goku as well. I need, I need to do a lot of Doken Awaken. I need to. Like, I use all my Zen just Doken Awaken these characters. Like, all of it. So we have uh, that path open, that path open, that's open, and yep. So let's go ahead and Doken Awaken her, and then that'll be the end of the video. Uh, here she is. Now, next time, I think I'll just blow through this quite fast. I'm going to go through every single card and talk about them like I did in this video. I'll probably just, like, Doken Awaken after Doken Awaken after Doken Awaken. Just get them out real fast right now. Uh, there she is, guys. One of the best tech free-to-play cards in the game. Uh, next to the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku that you can farm, the Angel one. So that's it, guys. So a bunch of awakenings. I have like, oh my god, I have tons of them. I need to awaken this. 18, I need to awaken Janim. I need to awaken this guy, this guy. I need to awaken this guy, this guy, this guy. Like, guys, like, huh. I need to awaken this guy. I need to awaken him. I need to awaken Weeks. I need to awaken, oh, Malanta. Him. Turles. Like, there are so many cards that are not awakened on JP for me. 
Zamas needs to wake in. This guy needs to wake in. This guy needs to wake in. He 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 needs to wake in. He, he, like, I, I can go on, man. Like, I have so many random SSRs that just need to be awakened, man. Like, look at this. This is disgusting. This is like, I could, I could go on. Like, he needs to wake in. Like, he needs to wake in. Him, him. Him, oh my land! Uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a lot, a lot of videos, man. Wow, I need a I'm, I'm making videos all day and I can't talk anymore. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, comment down below. If you've not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you once again.